Hello, President Trump. This is Putin calling. I want to help you out. I know you're having trouble. That's not the right accent. Uh, hello, uh, President Trump. This is President Putin. That doesn't sound right either. Hello, this is Putin. I'm calling to talk to President Trump. You all right? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, this is Putin. I own you. Remember back in the day when the craziest story was that there might be a dossier where the Russians had something on Trump? Simpler times. It's just about wet beds in Russian hotel rooms. It's impossible to keep up with what's going on. We've got Trump fires the director of the FBI for investigating Russia. The problem with firing the director of the FBI is now he's not the director of the FBI. And now the former director of the FBI can do whatever the hell he wants. This chapter definitely could be called The Revenge of Comey. And let me tell you, it's not looking pretty. Turns out that dossier wasn't necessary to bring down Trump. All we needed to do was let him try and be president for 116 days. The dossier wasn't really needed. Let's just dump all the pretense and start the campaign now. 2020, Trump Lavrov. So while the Russians were visiting their um, investment, I mean the president, Trump revealed classified information, which is his right to do. He has the legal authority to do so. Just because you have the legal authority to do something doesn't mean that you should do it. Trump has legal authority to pick his nose and eat the bogeys. That doesn't mean he should do that and then try and hand it to someone else. Mike Pence. I visited the White House once. All I got was a t-shirt and the nuclear launch codes. Yep, and turns out Putin's got a recording or at least a transcript of the whole thing. Imagine Trump's gonna get really upset about this possible Russian tape. We all know how upset he got when he thought Obama had taped him. That wasn't even real. I just hope they've got Kellyanne Conway checking all the microwaves. But Trump always does have foreign affairs to distract him. Trump met this week with Turkish leader President Erdogan. I bet his first question, how do you survive a coup? But the leaks just keep on coming, which isn't surprising. Trump is a man in his 70s. The latest leak is one of Comey's memos. See what happens when you fire some without a prenup? I think you would have learned this, Donald, from all of your ex-wives. Comey memo, it looks like Trump said to Comey, uh, you know this investigation thing? I hope you can let it go. Let it go, let it go, blah, 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 blah. Trump has defended himself in a series of tweets, separated by dot, dot, dot. Many people have wondered what's going on between the tweets. It keeps them so far apart. Basically, he's translating in between from the original Russian. I would imagine Trump advisors are missing the good old days. And the biggest controversy around Trump was whether or not he had committed a sexual assault. Those were the days. Let it go. Let it blah 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 blah.